In January 2015, the Arkansas Times profiled a local woman in a soaring portrait titled Ruth Coker Burks, The Cemetery Angel. The nearly 4,500-word cover story recounted how Burks cared for hundreds of people whose families had abandoned them at the height of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s, an epidemic that between the years of 1983 and 2019 killed about 3,900 people in the state of Arkansas, according to the Hot Springs AIDS Resource Center. Burks detailed how she buried dozens of gay men in a cemetery where her family owned plots when they succumbed to the disease. The paper's epic tale, a story of courage, love and the 30-year secret of one little graveyard in Hot Springs draws on the heartstrings with anecdotes of fearless courage in the daunting face of stigma and discrimination. Travis Dubroy, a photographer living in Brooklyn, New York, was so moved by that first article in 2015, he decided to start an online fundraiser for Burks. He said he immediately looked to see if a GoFundMe campaign existed for Burks and the monument she said she wanted to build in the same spot where she told CBS Sunday morning she buried over 40 men who died from AIDS-related complications. Before she's gone, she said, she'd like to see a memorial erected in the cemetery. David Coon wrote in the 2015 Arkansas Times piece. Something to tell people the story. A plaque. A stone. A listing of the names of the unremembered dead who lie there. The article quoted Bergs as saying, Someday, I'd love to get a monument that says, This is what happened. In 1984, it started. They just kept coming and coming. And they knew they would be remembered loved and taken care of, and that someone would say a kind word over them when they died. It just didn't seem to square with how she painted herself as a southern woman. Dubroy didn't find a GoFundMe campaign for Burks. Thinking her story seemed right for an online fundraiser, he started one himself she just wants to put a little plaque there, he said. It should be fairly easy, we get her a grant and she is good to go. Initially created for the sole purpose of raising money for the cemetery monument, the GoFundMe campaign later served a dual purpose, at the request of Burke's friend in November 2015 it was also used to raise funds for Burke's medical expenses. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.